Welcome to our long and overdue jailbreak update for iOS 13. Well, let's not waste too much time, so definitely like, comment, and subscribe this video, and let's jump directly into the news. Well, let's just go ahead and start this video off with the latest and greatest directly from IB Sparks. He says, y'all talk that life, and we really live it. And look what it is, guys. If you can't see it, I will zoom in. We have Cydia running on iOS 13, the very first beta. So a jailbreak has already been achieved. It doesn't mean that tweaks or anything like that will run correctly or that we're gonna see this released anytime soon. But this does mean it is possible to jailbreak iOS 13 and that pretty much includes iOS 12.4, all of the betas, and all of the previous iOS 12 versions too. Anyway guys, that was the latest news directly from IB Sparks. He's the very first to jailbreak iOS 13 in its beta stages. Now again, this exploit, as well as all the other ones that he has, are still zero day, meaning Apple does not know anything about these exploits. That means it won't be patched before iOS 13 is released to the public. We're gonna talk about all of this and more in today's video, but let's wind things back and figure out where this all started. So starting off, most obviously iOS 13 beta one was released to developers a little over a week ago. And there's a couple updates I wanna give you guys there. There is still no developer or public beta OTA update available. And it doesn't sound like that's going to be coming until the public betas for iOS 13 are going to be available in July. If you're on a Mac, you have to have the latest beta version of Xcode 11 installed. You also have to have the latest public version of Mac OS installed, so your computer has to be up to date. And just as a precautionary step, you have to have the latest version of iTunes installed. Now, if you're a Windows user, there is no native way to use iTunes to actually install iOS 13, but a really easy workaround is using 3U tools. Now, we have an updated installation tutorial if you guys want to check that out i'll link it down below in this video's description or in your cards now so shortly after ios 13 was released less than 24 hours if i recall correctly ib sparks or sparky on twitter tweeted out this saying zero day life and basically he demonstrated a kernel panic taking place on iOS 13, which essentially means iOS 13 has vulnerabilities that can potentially be exploited in order to jailbreak. Now, this may not look like much as the phone just crashes and restarts, but again, that is a kernel panic that is going on, meaning there is a kernel vulnerability that can be exploited, like I was talking about. Now, a few key takeaways here, again, one being we don't know if this exploit is actually going to be released and or we don't know when it's going to be released it's probably not going to be released until ios 13 is actually out and available to the public later this fall now since this vulnerability exists in ios 13 it's most likely that we can assume it also exists in the latest versions of ios 12 even the ios 12.4 betas and that brings me to my second major piece of news that I wanted to share with you guys, again from IB Sparks. He tweeted out this saying, beta firmware's alpha updates. But guess what it is, guys? It is a screenshot of Cydia running on an iOS 12.4 beta, meaning whatever exploit he currently has, it is powerful enough to jailbreak. Now, the biggest question is, is he going to release it? Now, his track record in the past has been pretty good. He has contributed to the jailbreak community with exploits and things like that. Now, real quickly, let's break away from iOS and talk about iPadOS. Now, I just want to clarify one thing. Now, the iPad has a brand new operating system, iPadOS. It's been rebranded, essentially. And that's the key takeaway there, guys. It's a rebranded version of iOS iPadOS is built upon the foundation of iOS, so pretty much any exploit that's available in iOS, we can assume is most likely going to be in iPadOS as well. So iPad jailbreaking is far from over too. Now, should you guys update or what is up with that? I mean, you guys know the drill, stay on the lowest possible version of iOS that you can. We might be receiving some major updates to the Uncover or Chimera jailbreak utilities if you're jailbroken right now on 12.1.2 or below. Again, you have a lot higher chances if you're on iOS 12.1.3 than if you're on an iOS 12.4 beta to receive a jailbreak. So if you guys tried out iOS 13, I guess that's the next major question. Should I update to iOS 13 at this point? 
and that really, it's up to you. If you do update, you can only downgrade to iOS 12.3 as of recording this video. Just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. I mean, as far as stability and new features, I'm absolutely loving iOS 13, but unfortunately, after that initial kind of phase of enjoying these new features on the new OS, then it feels like I'm back on stock iOS and I wish I could jailbreak again. That's essentially kind of the gist that I've gotten with iOS 13. It's super stable, it's a lot of fun, but it's still kind of monotonous and I miss some of the things I could do with jailbreaking. I love waking up every single day and figuring out what new has come out, what new things can my iOS device do overnight instead of waiting a year for Apple to update their OS to add new features and things like that. Anyway, once iOS 13 is released to the public, we'll have a better idea of what to do then. For now, it's not likely that any vulnerabilities or work related to jailbreaking is going to be released until iOS 13 is released to the public. No one's going to burn all their work on iOS 12. Now they're going to wait for iOS 13. As far as other jailbreak updates goes, City Impactor was updated for macOS Catalina support directly from Sorix, so City Impactor is going to stick around for quite some time. I was happy to see that update. The Uncover jailbreak received a new dark mode and a new user interface. Pretty interesting, but I still think Chimera has them beat for the UI of their jailbreak utilities. Not bashing on any team, but... Awesome work, cool to see updates there. One thing that I thought was super interesting that I wanted to share with you guys, Pwn to Own as well as a couple other members in the community is working on a version of Uncover that will launch the Uncover Jailbreak application and begin the jailbreak process right after booting up your phone. So it kinda is an untethered-esque jailbreak where there is no user interaction required to actually enable the jailbreak. As you guys can see, the phone just turned on, the uncovered jailbreak utility is loading up, and the jailbreak process begins just like that. Now it's not fully untethered because a fully untethered jailbreak would be jailbroken right when the phone turns on, but this kind of brings me back guys. I mean, you might wait another 30 seconds for the jailbreak to re-enable and respring and things like that, but it looks like it's going to work perfectly fine and I'm really interested to see if an update comes out for that in the near future to the Uncover jailbreak. Anyhow, that is the latest jailbreaking news, guys. I'll keep everyone up to date with the latest developments within the community. I'm sure some iOS 13 features will be backported to iOS 12 in the near future. Again, let me know what you guys' favorite iOS 13 feature is that you really hope to see on iOS 12. Anyway, as for me, if you guys can see here, I have my SIM card in my iPhone XR running the iOS 13 beta, so I'm using that as my daily driver. Granted, I still do have a jailbroken phone on iOS 12.1.2, but I figured why not, I'll give iOS 13 stock iOS a chance for a week and I'll let you guys know my experience sometime next week. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. Absolutely phenomenal news that IB Sparks was able to jailbreak iOS 13. He also demonstrated this exploit on iOS 12.4 and has pretty much given us progress updates along the way on his journey. Anyway guys, only good things to come in the iOS 13 jailbreak scene, so definitely stay tuned. Before you go, like, comment, and subscribe this video to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking related updates. Anyway guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the incredible support. We have more awesome content coming later this week, so stay tuned. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.